Officials on both sides of Mobile Bay meeting today, coming to terms with what a new route across Mobile Bay might look like. For the first time, both metropolitan planning organizations agree the only solution is to toll a new bridge, but at a lower price than previously discussed, and existing toll-free routes will remain free. WKRG News 5's Blake Brown is live with a breakdown of all this for us. Blake? That's right, Pete. You know, this is finally gaining some momentum after all these years, but like you guys said, unfortunately, a toll will have to be in place. Leaders on both sides of Mobile Bay are calling it the framework in order to get an I-10 Bayway Mobile River Bridge project back on the table. It's not the final plan, but members of the Eastern Shore Metropolitan Planning Organization and the Mobile MPO both agree tolling is the only solution. Tolls will be temporary and any additional funding we are able to secure will go towards paying down the debt. Both organizations approving this framework saying a $2.50 toll will be in place to go back and forth across the new bridge, but existing toll-free routes including the tunnels and causeway will remain open. Officials expecting the project to be added to the Long-Term Transportation Improvement Plan or TIP within the next 60 to 90 days. $125 million of federal funding will be used for a new bridge along with $250 million officials expect to receive at the state level. Even though Spanish Fort Mayor Mike McMahon Millen supports the new framework. He wants the Alabama Department of Transportation to take a good look at what this will mean for the causeway. Add lanes, add turn lanes, those kind of things, because when people are turning across traffic, there's going to be some safety issues going to have to be reviewed. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson agrees improvements may be needed during the construction phase. Uh, ALDOT recognizes that there will be greater use on the causeway, and it will require either more maintenance or some other attention so that it doesn't. Uh, so we don't wear it out sooner, let's say. Now, if approved, this project would take five years to build this new bridge. Now, it is important to note that large trucks would be towed about $15 or more with this new plan. For now, we're live on the causeway. I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5. And for the very latest developments on the Mobile River Bridge project, you can follow us on air and online at WKRG.com.